Interesting to note that there are some moves afoot uh, and it'll go either via state parliaments or some legal activists that are trying to get his name bounced off the ballot. So even if he is the nominee, he won't end up being an option in certain states. Of course, he needs as many states as possible to get the 270, so they'll always find a way. But also we learn uh, today about attempts to, to move jurisdictions out of places that were very heavily democratic, like uh, Atlanta as opposed to northern Georgia, uh, yeah. Washington, D.C., as opposed to potentially other locations. Is this a bit of a recognition now that they've gone so far, they've fired so many bullets that at some point it becomes impossible to defend with the energy required um, on all these fronts? Is this in part why they didn't just pick one case January 6 and that's what it was all about? They wanted these things to be like flights arriving at JFK. Yeah, absolutely. And, of course, what they're trying to do is to take up the whole of 2024 with Donald Trump sitting in court. Correct. They're doing everything they can to stop him from campaigning. Um, when it comes to jurisdictions um, and juries, I, I mean, look, the fact we're even having this conversation, Paul, shows you what a mess America has got itself into. There should be, you know, prosecutors should be separate from elected politicians. And, and the idea, the idea that you can't get a reasonable and balanced jury, that of itself is very, very worrying. America needs total, radical reform of its judicial system. It is breaking down before our very eyes. And if the Democrats push too hard, they will get a civil, violent insurgency, uh, the likes of which I think it's quite difficult for all of us to believe right now. This is... They are playing with fire. This is very dangerous indeed. Um, we know that Trump will become the nominee. Done and dusted. The question is, how do fair-minded Americans view this, you know, mm. if this persecution of Trump continues? And, and I have to think that middle-of-the-road Americans, not tied to one party or the other, must be looking at this and thinking that there's something wrong here. They're simply going too far. And that's why I still, despite everything, I still believe that right now, Trump has a better than 50% chance of being back in the White House. Well, I'll talk about this in greater detail tomorrow night. I was actually looking state by state at the polls. I had thought that wasn't the case, but you're actually right that it's uh, pretty much 50-50. Can we also be clear for those that are yeah. going to run off to the umpire straight away? Nigel Farage sending signals through the television, telling everyone through YouTube, get ready for an armed insurgency. Uh, that is your observation, not your call to arms, correct? Well, most certainly not. I mean, it's the last thing I want yeah. to see. You know, that's one of the reasons I believe in democracy, why I believe in the rule of law, why I believe in fair jury trials. You know, I, I understand that the reason we have all of this is to stop us fighting each other. Correct. That's the whole blooming point of it. But if people lose, if people lose total respect for it, then that's all they're going to be left with. That's why this matters so, so very much. Yeah, that's it. I wasn't doing deep state bidding. I just was making it nice and clear for the people who know better, but would deliberately try to twist your words. I'm saving you about a week's worth of paperwork there, my friend. All right, you had a chat to uh, <laughs> uh, Robert.